Hey everybody, I'm going to check. I know that I'm in the right place. It's just that I want to see if in case anything goes wrong. So we're gonna really pray that it doesn't go wrong. So let me see if it's come up. And there it is, fantastic, okay. Uh, and I won't be able to comment, but uh, Miss Lyons is on here. Hey, Kaylee, how are you? Uh, to answer any of your questions. And um, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Something a little different tonight. Um, kind of out of the box, but I stay out of the box most of the time. But uh, first of all, I'm Renee Hover, Two Chatty Chicks. And if you would uh, like and share the live, and whenever you do, come back and let us know so that your name can be entered into uh, the drawing to win an eight ounce of Miss Lillian Snow Wax Shop Paint. And you get to pick the color, so that's even better. And also, if you need to you always know that they can uh, ask me questions. And if not, you can order off the site. So, um, we're going to get started. We're going to be using Miss Lillian's, and excuse my me messy jars, but I use them a lot. Uh, we're going to be using her metallic glazes, and I believe, oh, and at the end, wait till the end, because I'm going to have a little something, even a little more different than what we're going to be doing here, that I started. But um, I believe there's 20 colors, they're iridescent, you can use them over stained, you can um, use them over the paint colors, it really adds a whole different sheen. But... What we're going to be doing is we are going to, something just went haywire over here. I hope it doesn't up here. <laughs> um, but we're going to be using an air compressor. And I'm not going to pick up the window because I have it all in place. And it's really old and chippy. And I didn't want to change the look of that. So what I did, I don't have a jar out here. I ran out here because I didn't have my compressor outside yet. Uh, I used Miss Lillian's Exterior Top Coat. And that's a great product. Like for those of you that use, make the signs by your front door, uh, always suggest using the exterior. So, uh, but once we're through, I will take you over and I'll show you uh, the compressor, I believe, is set on like 25 PSI. You don't want any more than that. And then I got, I had one, and I couldn't find it. So, bless his heart, Bobby ran to the hardware store for me and picked one up. And see, that way, and it has a handle, and it's easy to control. And then I just have a hook up here that I can hang it on. So, I'm going to turn y'all down where y'all can see and we can get started. So, hey Christine, I sent you an email um, on your order. Uh, check with me or send me a message after the video. Appreciate it, girl. Okay, I'm going to turn y'all down. And if again, if y'all have any questions, uh, Miss Lyons is here to answer them for you. And... I'm telling you, something really keeps going wacky with my iPad, and I'm wanting to see if y'all can see that. So, right here. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take different colors. I'm not going to make any. And as you can see, I've taped, and I put the brown paper here and taped it down. And I really don't think I would have that much of an issue but and uh, of it splattering. I didn't earlier. I just kind of did a small test run. But anyway, and to clean your glass, I used vinegar and water 50-50 and wiped it off really well. But you know what? There's paint still around on some of the glass, and that's okay. I didn't care. It's fine. Uh, perfectly imperfect. And I like the uh, lids because your stuff just paints out. Um, just drips is all I'm going to do. And y'all, this is really pretty. And I wish that I had a thought, because normally I always do several samples for my lives, and I didn't this time. 
Uh, for one, I got really hot out here today. So I did do one for y'all and I'll show y'all that whenever I'm done. But this is really kind of a fun project. And uh, I'll list the colors that we use tonight afterwards. Uh, this is purple, uh, gold stone. Isn't that a gorgeous color? And this is a uh, tourmaline. I love that one too. <clears throat> and also, oh, what I was going to say, I came up with another idea, which I thought would be cool, uh, which I want to kind of use this as a stained glass look. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do the backside. I may not do anything because I think whenever the sun uh, comes through, I think it's going to give me what I want as far as that stained look effect. But if you didn't want that, I think it would be pretty as if you, um, and I didn't put anything on here on the glass. Um, I felt like that if I wanted to put the exterior, uh, it would be fine. The exterior, Miss Lillian's top coat. Um, I didn't see that there would be an issue. But say you wanted to put a metallic color and not cover all of the glass once you uh, hit the nozzle, then you know what? It'd be pretty if you, uh, you could use Miss Lillian's Prevention. It would stick to the glass and then you could use your metallic paint and then do your metallic glaze. And y'all look, this is taking so little product. I mean, good grief. And uh, not only is this cool on this, but would this not be cool for a mixed media on canvas? All right, and I'm trying to stick, oh, emerald. Okay, so far we've used hot pink quartz, the purple goldstone, the tourmaline, the silver, this is emerald and then uh, crystal blue. And with 20 colors, I mean, you know, it, it's endless. And I'm kind of excited to show you what I did today that I think would be so cute in a kid's room. Okay, and that one kind of got stopped up on me. And I knew I would misplace that today. Oh, toothpick, great. There we go. One of those, oh, I, I've got everything. And then whenever you get ready, it's like, oh my gosh. Okay, I know this is the boring part, but we'll get there, okay? But I just wanted y'all to see I started to do part of it, and I thought, no, I would just wait. And again, something is going crazy with my iPad, so I can't see what's going on. So, all right, like I said, I have my compressor set on about 25 PSI, and I want to make sure that y'all can see this one, because this is the one that we're going to do. Is that not cool? And say I, I wanted this to be full coverage, I could come back in and put more. I just don't know that I want to do that. And it's a lot uh, cheaper and a lot faster than doing the glass, the stained glass and the lead and all that. Is that not cool though? And you can see I'm not, I really don't have it on there too close. I want to back this up where y'all can see this side.
And again, y'all be sure and like and share. And be sure and come back and um, let them know so that your name can be added to the drawing to win one of Miss Lillian's 8-ounce chalk paints. And you get to pick the color. Okay, I will get that out later with a pair of tweezers. I normally have a pair out here with me, but... And I hope the fan isn't bothering y'all. And then say, I just want to add, you know, I really am liking that with that shining, some of that through. And that's just a white background that I put underneath so that y'all could see. But I do think I am going to go ahead and cover all of it because you know what I have a slew of windows so I can uh, change it up do a different one or whatever and I won't be able to I'll be able to pick the one up that I done earlier to kind of show y'all but I can't pick this one up because it will run, and I don't want it to, to do that. And you know, y'all, I think this would be such a great technique, even on a the top of a table in a kid's room. I think it would be so cute. Especially to go along with what I'm going to show you here in a minute. You know what? And what a nice gift that would make for someone. Ooh, I like that. Okay, now I'm going to push this back in so y'all can see this. I think my next uh, adventure with this is going to be a tabletop. In fact, I have one that I've been wanting to find something to do, and I think this is it. All right, let's see. Put a little bit of. Now it got silver there. I'm going to pull that back out. And I don't have it completely 100% covered, but that's okay. I really think that is, I'd give anything if I could pick that up so that y'all could see the light um, shining through it. It would be so pretty. And it would really help if I could see the video so that I could see what y'all are seeing. Okay, good deal. Y'all are being able to see that. Okay, now, um, and I'm not kidding, there are a lot of colors, like with 20 colors, um, and I just used one, two, three, four, and those are just six colors that I use. So could you imagine if you, oh, let's see, one I always add is gold, and I didn't add gold. Let's add gold, shall we? Um, let me move this just a tad. Yes. Let's add some gold. I need my toothpick. All right, let's see what that does. So you can always come back and add more. Oh, yes. I like. Look at that shimmer that that's giving. I, I hope that y'all can see that. I'll raise it up here in just a second so that y'all can see it up close. 
And then I'm gonna move on to the next project so that y'all can see, because I can finish this completely afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little on this one. And I think that will take care of this. And I hope y'all are enjoying something different. I said, I can't wait to try this on a piece of furniture. I know a lot of people do the paint pours, but this is really different. I love that. I think that is so pretty. So, let me, you know what, I don't even think we even need that. So let me pull that off. Isn't that pretty? All right, I'm gonna lift this up so that y'all can see it up close and personal. Isn't that, I love that. I hope y'all are seeing that because like I said, for some reason the iPad wants to uh, not cooperate and be ugly, so. I am going to set that right back down because I'll, I'll show y'all the other glass that I did today. And this was one that I had out so that you can kind of see. Um, let me go ahead and turn y'all back up so that y'all can um, see my the next project. Ooh, my phone is hot as fire. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like the brain's going to explode, you know? <laughs> but this, is that not pretty? Um... I would, and then this is the opposite side. But can you imagine with the sunlight coming through that, how pretty that would be hanging outside? Oh, and don't you know the hummingbirds would just love it. Okay, but now I want to show y'all. Um, I painted a lamp shade here a while back. And it is Miss Lillian's eggplant color. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful color. And so I was going to do something with it, and this has been three or four months ago. And I walked by, and I saw it up there on my shelf, and I thought, oh, my gosh. Let's put some metallic glaze on it and use the air hose. So that's what I did. And you know what? I don't mind this. What I'll do is I will go ahead... And the same colors that I used on the window is what I'm going to use on here. Uh, and I will take a picture of those colors and put it in the post so that y'all will know what colors I did use. But, you know, you can use any color. It doesn't matter what I used. Um, I'm going to put the gold back because I didn't use the gold. But I've done the same thing on here that I did... So I'm gonna have to tip that down just a little bit because it'll run, but that's okay. So I'm gonna come over here and just kinda put it around just like I did the window. I mean, it does. there's no rhyme or reason, just... And again, if y'all have any questions, uh, Miss Lillian is there to answer them for you and um, be sure, hey, and let us know where you're from. Uh, let us know if you've used Miss Lillian's products before. Uh, what's your favorite color and what is your favorite product to use? Mine is what I'm using at the moment. I know that's a little strange, isn't it? But it's kind of like the color. Whatever color I'm using is my favorite color at the time. So, all right, let me get my sprayer. Okay. All 
I'm really trying to not lose that <laughs> or let that fall. I'm going to come in and add a little pink. And let's see, a little bit of this. And that's okay that it's running. That, that doesn't bother me in the least. It just adds interest. see the difference of the dry and then wherever it's wet but I really really think that is so pretty and I think it would be so cool now I don't know what it's gonna look like on a lampshade but what I'll do is I'll test that out I'm gonna finish that and um, you know what I pulled this color out because would that not be a gorgeous under color to do this on uh, especially for those that like the boho look. That would be so cool. Okay, I'm going to come over here. Uh-oh. I really got a lot there. <laughs> but I don't want all of the lampshade covered. I do want some of the uh, eggplant to show through. This would be so cute in a kid's room, I tell you. I, I just. Oh my gosh, and then the tie-dye curtains, you know, the white shears, wouldn't that be cute? Oh my gosh. Yes, it would. Oh, Y'all can tell it's been a while since I've, I've been on vacation. <laughs> And I'd love it as well if y'all would hop over to uh, Two Chatty Chicks and give me a like. And again, y'all be sure and um, share the video and come back and or the live and let us know so that you can be added into the drawing to win eight ounce no wax chalk paint. Isn't that cool? Just really neat. So, what I am going to do, I've reached a point because what I'm going to do is I'm doing sections and I'm letting it dry and then I can go on and turn this out here where y'all can kind of see. Well, that almost looks like a face right there. But I just thought that was so cool. And, uh... I think that's it. I do have a couple, like I said though, I think what would be so pretty is like with this one, you can see that, um, you can see through it. Like you can see my pink shirt. So if you didn't want it to leave it like that, I think if you took and put metallic on the back, that would be pretty. But myself, I think both sides are pretty. Uh, this is the side that I use the air gun on. And then, oh, that's still wet. And then, because it is iridescent, and you can see through even this right here. So, let me turn this back up. And I really do appreciate y'all stopping in and watching and sharing. And uh, again, if y'all have any questions, be sure and ask, and um, we'll answer them to the best of our ability. And be sure and like and share and be entered in the drawing. And um, I will wait for the winner. So we'll give them just a few minutes and um, see who the winner is. And y'all, it's really hot. <laughs> uh, my glasses keep wanting to fog up on me. I should have worn my contacts, but... I might have, but like I said, I forgot, and I thought it was at 6.30. So, oh my gosh, we have a winner, Sissy Nunnally Cowan. Awesome. Congratulations, girl. Uh, just get in touch with Miss Lily and send them a message, and uh, pick out your paint. <laughs> 
All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go and enjoy the rest of your evening. And God bless, and we'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all. And it's good to be doing a live again. It's been a while.